All right, so first of all, we had a little chat earlier on with some of the boys that were here. Um, I coached Alan when he was playing down here. Um, I haven't played for coaching for a year. Which was in the sense of earlier on that that was probably the only regret with that team was that I didn't have longer with them. But my experience of my coaching didn't give me that chance to have a little bit more fun with them. So he played with Dylan's team. I didn't play with his team. Your boy all over. <laughs> We were on the same team, both boys go over the same way. Um, I'm playing for Orton and the schoolboy football, all the way up kind of. Um, and he went and signed for Chelsea? Rob. Rob, of course. Um, and he's been playing in the Air Fisher League since he left, left there. Um, so I'll let him explain what kind of player he was and his experience. Possibly the most, and I don't say this lightly because I've had a lot of very good and smart footballers on the ball, but he was possibly the quickest player in terms of his reaction to a different situation on the pitch. And what I mean by that is, when he got the ball, his first look was, was incredible. But when he got the ball, I mean, when we played, it was really, really kind of, they hadn't got much space to play on because they were old, they were under 16s. Played on the same pitch that the other players were playing, so the pitch, you know, the pitch was kind of outgrown. They were kind of outgrown the pitch a bit. So when they got the ball, they were always in tight situations. So Alan's, for me, is apart from all his defensive qualities, the thing I really liked about him was the fact that he was able to get the ball under control, his first touch, and figure out a, how to get out of a situation like that. Really clever, really quick. So he went to the right, went to the left. And then he had that dribble in him. Moving to the space, like if it was a, if it was a gap in between two players, he was he was he was so clever to get into them areas, and then his end product with his ball was always so fantastic, whether it was a pass, whether it was a cross. I'm saying goals, but <laughs> <laughs> um, but everything else, you know, it's un unbelievable. Um, so you know, good show. And then if you have a question or two, put your hands up and ask them. Yeah, is that fair enough? Yeah, I was just saying, we played obviously a lot like you guys, where I was there recently, so I some of the players. Uh, played my way up, obviously loved that, and then we got to, we really all went in the 14s, 15s, 16s, the same thing came on to. And then, uh, then after I was under 16, I decided to uh, move to Rovers in the 19s, and obviously we didn't, didn't uh, stay that year. And, So I went to Rose 19, just loved that. Obviously that was more professional club, like I'm sure you have now, trying to go with and from there I went on uh I played, I was played about the first team then that year. I was, was kind of out when I was about 16 and I played uh when I was when I was 17 and then uh there I was doing that football was going great and then uh, then I once we got to uh I think the next year we had uh, the manager who always playing under the first time we left, and another manager came in, which you, you know that when you get older, football is different manager, so you like different managers when you don't. And then I decided to, uh, when that other manager went in, he wanted me to sign back with the under 19s after playing with the senior team. I didn't want to do that at the time, so I decided to leave and went to Paris Shells, uh, another team there, Tristy, who I believe lower down the Rovers, who I just went there to play. And then, first year there, it was great, I loved that again. And then again, another manager came in, didn't like him, and then I stopped, kind of wasn't enjoying the football that much. So I decided to leave there, and then I went up to Bray, where I'm at now, and then back again, just enjoying the football, playing, and uh, trying to good players who are a lot, some a lot, a lot older than me. But uh, yeah, it's great, and the thing I say we, we use is uh, the only voice up the main bit of voice I give to anyone your age, always enjoy football, and go out with the attitude that. You, you're gonna go out, you wanna learn, you wanna get better every day. And the main thing is, it's a whole way up, as long as you're enjoying football, that's when you're gonna be at your best, you're gonna play better, you're gonna improve. And uh, same with when you come up here, you're gonna get good coaches, always listen to them, they'll get better that way. And then when, you, when you're getting better, you're gonna be playing well, and that's how you're gonna enjoy football, maybe. And then like, a lot of lads you get to say 14, from the 14, even 14, I was getting younger, some actually see them over and throw them. 
you might stay if you're not going you might start getting fed up and think oh why aren't I going why aren't I uh, why am I not good enough and that but it's one thing I always say never worry about any of that like the main thing is you focus on your football improve all the time you'll see a lot of lads who go over they'll come back and then they all of them fall out and live with football and don't enjoy it anymore so many things always get better every every day out practicing enjoy your football come up here learn off playing with two lads and that's mainly what any bit of advice I'll give you is just focus on that improving and uh, enjoying it yeah you see that yeah that's pretty much what we say to you all the time here isn't it just have to enjoy it first huh yeah. what <laughs> Alex is off. You give him take a few fingers and he goes crazy. That's what we always say to you here. You have to be able to enjoy your football. And that's one that's a part of our, the very core of what we do, is to make sure we provide you with a place that you can enjoy playing your football. Yeah? And then you can really develop. And that's what Alan's saying there. And he's basically saying, what did Dylan say to you last week? Dylan, can anybody tell you that you can? Dylan would be the best example, I think, of that, what you were saying earlier. When I was playing, when I first came, Dylan was, there was a lot of time, wasn't even starting our team, wasn't even getting in. And then, it, but always in training, would always be the first one there, always trying, never missed a session, always gave 100%, got better each year, each year. Even under 15, still was kind of in and out, playing some games, sometimes he wasn't. Then we got to under 16, just, he, the kids actually came in that year and then, I don't know, there's something to do with your coach. He, he was, uh, just went on and on, kept getting better, kept improving. And uh, his attitude was unbelievable. I always remember that with him. He was one that, a little more, like at the time, be a lot of lads who would have been ahead of Dylan in terms of you think who, was, who might get away, who would have not even been getting away, but who were just doing, doing better than at the time. But Dylan always worked so hard, trained all the time, got better, and then he, now he's over bright and guys move and he's doing really well. So he'd be a good example of that that you can look to. Have you not? Any questions? Yeah. Um, who was your favourite footballer when you were younger? Paul Scott was definitely one of the still is. Oh. What team did you like most? Or what team did you support with? United. Are you saying that golfers like Paul Scott? Which who? Talking? Um, would you sign for fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's what I'll be doing. Yes, Alex? Moment I'm wearing uh, some Jesus. Yeah, the Nike boots I always wear. Don't like any of that. <laughs> I like the clothes, not the boots. <laughs> Come on, Jed. Do you know uh, Larry plays for um, Bows called James Kevin? Know the name. I don't know myself, but yeah, yeah, I know the name. He's your coach? Is he, yeah. Oh. Uh, Logan again? Oh. How many times have you got to call up for Brad? He's on Brad. 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 He's Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This way. What number do you wear? Fifteen. I have a question. I have a question. What was it like when you were younger playing for for the Irish? Oh, I was twelve years. At the time, I didn't. Uh, I didn't have the right like. Yeah. Right attitude to it, in a way, you know. Like, 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 Getting, like looking at getting away and looking at the lads who were going away and didn't didn't enjoy it for what it was, if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. But I should have just taken it, go out and enjoy it and just like kind of the whole experience of it. I would have gone back and just focused on that, going out and doing my best and just enjoying it for that, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so you were, you were more focused yeah, on the frustration yeah, than the regret. Yeah, lads who were going away and but I was saying, now it's not fun, really. Um, who who you had your first ball at? Um, Bill Walker. One quote, I think he's already said it. Yeah. About, about making sure you enjoy your football. Because yeah, sure that's the most important thing. Yeah. How can you have the most important one at that tee? You asked him for a second one. Robbie at the back. Who was your favourite coach at school? Definitely Tim. He's just saying that. Yeah. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Y'all need to have respect for you, son. Why not? What time did you have to sleep at? And what food did you eat before a game? The day before a game? Uh, time to go to sleep. Um, before a game or just in all the time? Yeah, we've been up before a game. Not before a game. We, we, we played later on in the... We, tra- we played about four days. What? When, when you were when you were when you were their age, their age, I took I always took sleep serious. I said they're now, even when you're your age, I always took sleep serious. I would be in bed by if I had a game and say I was getting up, I was getting up early in the morning, be in bed by half nine probably. I probably I, was just, I always took that serious my sleep. I still do now. Sleep is important, so just sleep is important. And being at your best, you need to sleep. Yes, uh, what about food? Is that another question you had there? Yeah, food. Yeah, food. I always take you? serious. Uh, Food for uh, day before a game, I'd eat a lot of like pasta, chicken, vegetables, stuff like that. And then day of the game, what well, always my pretty much meal be uh, chicken, rice, and uh, some bread as well, stuff like that. A little water. Yeah, I drink. I literally, I get a slag for going around with a bottle of water the whole time. I literally don't go anywhere without a bottle of water. And just even in the car, about twenty bottles on the floor, and all. Manager's always drinking water. It keeps you hydrated. You're, and perform better then as well, so it's important. Yeah, you bring your card for me. <laughs> yeah, you have to do it. But it makes you perform better. Yeah. She's going to bush. Come here. I'm doing a walk here now at the moment, a 90 day challenge, and I'm having to go up in the middle of the night and go to the toilet because I'm drinking so much water during the day. Yeah, you sure is that. I'm waking up in the middle of the night and I'm having to go. go you know, up do you know what I have? I have my bedrooms like up at the top of the house and bathrooms like. Oh, Midway. 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 <laughs> uh, is, oh, is skill work really important? Listen to this, this is yeah, a very valuable question. That's something I say, uh, I wouldn't even talk like a few years ago, I wouldn't have thought of you saying this, but like, you see a lot of lads who even went away, or at the time they have football, they, they think football's everything, which obviously football is a big part of your life, but it's not. Uh, it's more, as I say, I always enjoy football, but I always think of what else is important, like your school, like if you, if you were to go away, a lot of lads come back, then they, they're not really, with football, they don't, they, a lot of them lose interest in football, they no school, they've no, like, they're not able to do anything, so, like, I'm still in college now, I'm still playing football, so, yeah, school, I, like, I don't know, even saying a few years ago, I probably wouldn't have said that, but now, looking back, I'm glad I, I went, done my leave, and so, now I'm in college, and also, something, you always need something to fall back on as well, so definitely, the school's important, yeah. Really, if you can take anything from this, take that, because I'm telling you, your school is very, very important, very important. You have to push yourself in school. I know sometimes it can be a bit long, and sometimes it can be a little bit. There's a lot of information coming to you that you might not ever use, but there's a lot of information that you'll get in school that you don't need. And as, as Al says, to drop back on it, it's very important because everyone's not going to become a professional football. Yeah, we all have that thing, even though you've got now, whether you want to go and, make, and have a career and make money off playing football and do it for love, but you need, not everyone can do that, so obviously you need something that's going to help you as well. 
fall back on. Plus, some education helps you every day, and yeah. like every single day. It's gonna have other things. Even if you if you use the data too, where you're working hard in football, bring it into your working hard in school. You're gonna work hard in the gym. You're gonna just gonna help you be successful in anything you do. So yeah. you're gonna be able to apply yourself yeah. in every area of your life, rather than just in one area. You know, don't don't overemphasize. You don't just specialize in one area. Yeah, monkey. Last one or two. What do you mean Actually, it was the same when I, uh, I was, I went, when I was younger, up till about 15, 16, I wasn't getting many trials. I was still playing though, I was still playing with the Joey team, but try, even now I still haven't gotten many, but uh, my first one I went away was, I went to uh, a team in League One called uh, Bury when I was 16, went for a week, it was grand, like, I did, wasn't the best club, but I just kind of went over the experience, and then when I went to Rovers, 19 is my first year there. I uh, went to Sheffield, which was good. I uh, enjoyed that. But then at the time I was to football, when I came back, I was playing with uh, the same team as well. So when it, later on in the year, I'd been with David at that stage. They wanted me to go back over for a week, and the manager at the time basically just said no, it wasn't, would let me go, which at the time I didn't really mind because I was, I was in fifth year in school, so I was, I was in school again. and then. Uh, I was still playing with Robert Sports team, so I was happy I didn't mind. But yeah, that was the only two. Uh, and then. Do you know Seamus Coleman? Yeah, yeah. You know that Seamus Coleman played in the League of Ireland? Yeah, did he get. He went to. Did he get Charles Bowles opening night? And he's wearing. He didn't go across until he was 20. 20. So he went across to. He went over to England from the League of Ireland when he was Al's age. So, and here, that's another thing. You see the way this League of Ireland is kind of getting a little more involved in the schoolboy football? It's, it's, it's going to be very good for, for boys of your age because it will give you an opportunity to get your education. It will give you an opportunity to physically develop. And it will give you an opportunity that when you finish under 16, that it's not just gone. That you still have, have a, can continue on that trend. Right, we've reached our time. What do you say, pal? Thanks. 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 Thanks.